Sitefinity comes with a .NET Core renderer right out of the box. A separate presentation application handling the page HTML has a number of benefits. Sitefinity's decoupled architecture lets you use multiple renderers in a front-end technology of your choice. What that means is rapid development, faster setup time, lower Sitefinity CPU time, and superior flexibility in terms of hosting and development environments. This short demo will guide you through the process of setting up a .NET Core application and connecting it to a Sitefinity instance. It's a straightforward and sufficiently automated setup which Sitefinity admins will appreciate. The .NET Core renderer and the Sitefinity OData web services that deliver content to it are just one of many opportunities to explore for organizations which aim to deliver content and experiences across channels, platforms, and devices. So here's how to set up a .NET Core application from scratch and configure it to work with Sitefinity. This video is going to take you through the following steps. Create a blank .NET Core application. Add the NuGet packages for Sitefinity, which contain the core logic and some out-of-the-box widgets. Apply some necessary changes to the startup file. Configure the application to use an already working Sitefinity instance. So let's get started. First, we create a new blank project. I'll create the new project in the demo folder, and the wizard will automatically handle it. Next, we'll add some new get packages. In this demo, they're being added from a local repository, but for you, they'll be available in the official Sitefinity NuGet server as well. Now that we're done adding the NuGets, let's launch Visual Studio Code and make some modifications to the startup file. The first one would be adding our namespace. Next, we'll add the Sitefinity dependencies. And finally, we'll register Sitefinity in the ASP.NET pipeline. Okay, one last thing to do now is configure the remote Sitefinity instance to which the .NET Core application will be connecting. There's a simple configuration for this in the App Settings JSON files where we specify the remote URL of an already configured Sitefinity instance and the URL of an OData REST service with which the .NET Core renderer can communicate. Let's summarize the steps once again. So let's start the application we've just configured and see it in action. Our .NET Core application has started and is listening. We just need to open up a browser. So at localhost 5001, we have the Hello World page here that comes with the blank .NET Core project. As we're going to pair it to work with Sitefinity, Let's pull up Sitefinity and create a page. For the page title, we're going to use Hello World 2. At the next step, we're at the Select a Template screen, and here we have a variety of templates. We're interested in the ones around the bottom, namely the .NET Core templates. Let's just pick the default one for the sake of this demo. At this point, you can see another Sitefinity novelty, the new page editor that works with the .NET Core application. A click of the Add Widget Here button takes us to the widget selector, where we get to choose between layout and content widgets. We're going to select the Content Block widget and create some content. So, here's our Hello World page, which we can preview and publish. There we go. We have a working .NET Core application consuming content from a Sitefinity instance hosted remotely.